Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey Wicket, I forgot to plug in this camera last night. Hopefully the battery doesn't die. Diana said we would be leaving in 10 minutes, two hours ago. Diana is now ready for a Seattle summer. I feel funny because I never wear tennis shoes, so. I think they look good. You do? Like I said, they're the first things I noticed, and then I, it drew my eye to your sweater. I feel short in tennis shoes. Like, not well, yeah, when compared to like your 40 feet, what do they call them? Platform yeah. shoes? The only kind of platforms I'm aware of, like, involve software, so. <laughs> they would look weird on me, wouldn't they? Yeah. The shoes, not the software. Software always looks good on me. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't look funny? No! I've never worn Tell it. her she doesn't look funny. I've had these for over a year, and this is the first time. You've worn them? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and then you need more shoes. No, I need more platforms. Oh, yes, because we need to make you taller than me. Yeah. Yes. We've got a full tank of gas. I don't. Not in my car. What? No. When was the last time you drove? The day before yesterday. Or yesterday. For what? Oh, we had to get your party stuff. Oh, yeah. I drove all over. Honey, you know they have a party store, right? Yeah, that was my last stop. Why was that your last stop? Well, I wanted to get you a nice cake, so I went all over. <laughs> of which I had a nibble of? It was really good. I, I think I wanted to get you a nice cake that I would be able to eat. Is that more like it? Yes. I don't eat cake. I eat lots of cake. So if anybody has a birthday... I'll eat your cake. I asked Diana if she was ready, and she asked where we were going. I said, well, I was going to record a little segment for the vlog. We were just watching, <coughs> listening, <laughs> can't really watch radio easily. Uh, we were listening to one of my favorite programs, This American Life, which you can subscribe to as a podcast, or you know, you can listen to on NPR. It's fantastic programming, because it's all about story. And the story today, at least when we were listening to it in the car, was about misfits, you know, kids who just didn't fit in, and, you know, their tales of woe, and now they've grown up and reflecting upon them, and uh, it kind of got me thinking that, you know, I, I know a lot of kids in my audience feel like misfits, just like I felt like a misfit when I was younger, and, um, you know, every once in a while I get emails from people saying they appreciate the things that we do, and maybe that's why everybody seems to like watching the vlogs, it's kind of a slice of life. Uh, kind of a you know a reality show that's really reality gives you guys a chance to escape or to realize that uh, life it gets better with uh, age, as evidenced by a 39 year old. I kind of eyeball the amount of cream I put into my coffee. That is real cream, not half and half, not a non dairy sweetener. And I guess I like that tone. So. Make your coffee look Diana Tone. Yes. And it will be tasty. So long as it's from Pete's for coffee. Espresso should always be drank black. Drank black? Drunken? Drank. Drink did? Drunk. Drunk? Drunken. Drunken. Can you guys see that line going down Diana's leg? It's because she was just sitting with her legs crossed and she ain't got a tan. Just sitting there. Man. Oh, that means I'm probably going to be red as a beet. No, but I tan really easily. I'd say. That was like, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Dang! Oh, man. I had to park on the roof of the garage here. It's packed because of the art walk, which we're going to hit after we get some frozen yogurt. And hopefully I won't get hit by the SUV behind me. We saved 50% on... The Froyo. This one is peanut butter and strawberry. Well, it's peanut butter flavored Froyo. And Diana got peanut butter flavored and strawberry and then added chocolate sauce. And some mochi. Oh, mochi too? I didn't even see that. Over here. 
think Justin and Mike are somewhere over here. Justin, the star of our house tour. <laughs> Yay! The Mr. Hillgrove, <laughs> as he does not like to be called. <laughs> We're on the hunt for him. City's in front of this market here. That's some neat stuff. A lot of cool artists around here. Oh, he's making art over there. And I'm creeping up behind you with the camera. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Those are really good. Diana and I are walking away with some gargoyles. Well, you know, they're to scare away evil spirits. So your house should be evil spirit free. Yeah. Just hang in, hang in the most scary part of your house. Which is pretty much everywhere. My home office. Here's the, uh, here's the... This is a collaborative effort between you and Mike. Yep. Yeah, um, I, I work in acrylics and he works in oil, so I kind of laid down some... Uh, Laid, laid down the characters first, and then he went over a little bit in oils. But it's it's a parody. It's a play on uh, the Blues Brothers. You know, they they have that line where we're on a mission from God. So we call this we're on a mission from Leia. Diana's talking pregnancy again. Yes, pickles and ice cream. Yeah, you'd eat that even if you weren't pregnant. Not that she's pregnant. I know people think I'm pregnant. You're not pregnant, right? No, not okay. that I know I would want to be like the first to know. Don't like tweet it and then like <laughs> wait. I'm going to tweet it and that's how you'll find out. Does that sound like a plan? Sure. <laughs> then I'll retweet it. <laughs> Actually, you could tweet it because then you know it's there for posterity. So when the kid grows up, like, dude, what happened to my privacy? Hey, you were born a Perillo. You have no privacy. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good idea. But we've only been married four months. So do you think we should have a little more honeymoon time? With me, honeymoons every day. No, I mean before we have kids. Do you think we need a little more marriage together time? Well, I'd be less concerned about the child coming into the world for privacy reasons. More like you know your family's going to be here and you know my family's going to be here. No, I mean, like, me and you time before a baby. We always get me and you time. No, I know, but we've only been married four months. That's not a long time. You think I should eat this? Does that make sense? Some people wait a year before they get pregnant. I don't know. My biological cock is ticking. I got a couple free movie passes, so we're off to watch Spider-Man. It's been out for a while, but, you know, you can save a fair amount of money if you just wait a little while longer for some bits of entertainment. Diana's stopping into the gas station, or I guess we are. Diana's in there right now, trying to get some soda. She's going to pack it into her purse, where she keeps everything else that she owns. Seriously, I'm not, that's not an exaggeration, it's for real. Uh, but it would be far more affordable for us to stop here to get snackage, compared to getting it at the movie theater, where it would cost more than it would normally cost to even watch a movie in the first place. It's so expensive. Oof. Your verdict? I loved it. I give it an A++. Plus plus. It was pretty amazing. You have arrived at your destination. The route guidance is now cried. finished. They're going to think now that we haven't seen it yet since the GPS just spoke up. <laughs> you almost cried? It was very touching. It was sad. The part where he turned into a lizard? No. What where, part? Where her dad made him promise to leave her alone. Oh, yeah. See, now, and hopefully that's not going to be a spoiler for anybody who hasn't seen the movie. Spoiler alert. But it's too late now. But it was so sad. Because he loves her. And loves superheroes. Yeah, that was the last movie we saw in the theater was The Avengers. They're very good looking. Well, they're, obviously, they're, I would never be a superhero, though. They're more good-looking than, like, athletes or Or maybe they're, bodybuilders. like, heroic. Yeah. Like, you know, they do good things. And yeah. They're complex. You're hero heroic. I'm, I don't wear a costume. But you do good things. Like what? Drive? Driving's not a superpower. Vlogging isn't a superpower, either. Before you go, Pixie and I wanted you to know that we thank you for liking this video.